Aries, this is all about you. Aries, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Aries energy influences your natal chart, you can take this reading and these messages and apply it very carefully to that portion of your chart. Don't shove it in there. If it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. Okay. All right, guys, let's get into this. My name is Michelle. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is your day, uh, weekly oracle and tarot card reading and predictions for the zodiac sign of Aries. Aries, this is all about you. Aries, this is all about you. Sun, moon, rising. This is a general reading. Full oracle card spread in the link below. I'm sorry. In the description box, there is a link to an extended reading where I'll do a full uh, oracle card spread to articulate and extend this reading and also a romance reading. But remember, you also have your um, weekend romance predictions for the weekend that's coming at us. And that's already up, so you could check that out too. Aries, 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 the energy crowning this reading, Aries, flipped over right when I was talking about romance. There's this unsettling feeling right here. There's an uncertainty. I don't, oh, it flipped over right. There's an un unsettling feeling, I thought, either either um, of not either not being honest with yourself. Unsettling feeling. You're looking into the future. You're definitely looking way in the, into the distance, um, uh, looking at things objectively grounded. There's a grounded sense. Remember, this is earth energy. Giraffe energy stands firmly on all four legs and ironically can run very fast you, you'd think that they couldn't but they're extremely elegant runners so they're good at what they do but they're grounded and they have a regalness to them there's a beautiful sense to them that they they have farsight they can see not into the future but into the distance so they're they have a wide almost aerial perspective they can look at things objectively but simultaneously stay very grounded and this is your energy this week there's a gentle sense of something coming through to help you understand things and clear clarify things within yourself or understand things within yourself without judging yourself or feeling like you're obligated to hold on to something because you're not there was this energy that i was picking up as soon as I started shuffling for you guys that was a feeling of trying to force remember I said with the, the whole natal chart thing um if it doesn't fit don't try, try to squeeze it just there's a sense of um relinquishing the idea that you have to squeeze something in that isn't working or finally realizing if something isn't working maybe I can fix it trying to pretend like it's 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 not broken isn't helping but acknowledging that it is broken maybe it will be easily fixed so basically this is a sense of looking things over and getting um that aerial view that higher perspective it's not the aerial view of like spirit aerial view like you would get if this was a totem of eagle or or hawk but this is an energy of grounded to earth seeing things very realistically but unjudgmentally it's a gentle energy you could be dealing with a taurus or some other earth sign i'm picking up either taurus or virgo it's a gentle earth energy so um even though earth energy can be very very certain of itself or stubborn sometimes this isn't that feeling. There's a feeling of, of um, tranquility and peacefulness and, and real, there's gentleness here. Um, there's a wonderful, there's a wonderful grounding now to the, there at these aspects about your life. I like to keep this general. I don't want to pinpoint it as to love or romance, but maybe there's, in other words, there's this energy of looking at things from that wide perspective of seeing the bigger picture, but now being able to ground that somehow into reality. So taking something that was maybe in the future or maybe far off or maybe just a hypothetical and now actually being able to translate that into something that is <clears throat> tangible and real or realized in your life or being able to lay groundwork or make plans to make sure that that happens, that, that it, it starts to transmute now into reality from that sort of conceptual. I'm not even going to say, um, I'm not going to say dreams because it's not. It's it, from concept to reality, from like, I, I mentioned this in somebody else's reading, architectural plans to the actual building and construction. So this is overseeing, 
overseeing plans for your future, or overseeing plans for your life, um, a little ways out. Mm. Mm. I don't know if you guys are dealing with a Taurus, but this is a really, there's somebody here that with, with big doe eyes and just a beautiful sense of sophistication, but also humility to them, right? A humbleness, a humble beauty, a humble beauty. Are you the humble beauty, Aries, or are you dealing with a humble beauty? Let's see. Somebody who it can be, if this is a person, they are very regal. You know, you have a lot of respect for them. They sort of like are in awe of, of this person. But at the same time, they're just very gentle. They're not really braggadocious. They have a wonderful sensibility of humility to them. I love that. There's a lovely sense about this this energy. Okay, Aries, Aries, what else do you want to hide? Oh, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. This is clear out the clutter. This energy is get let, let go of the past. And you know, I honestly feel like you're not, you're ready. Yeah, there was a wonderful sense of release. Um, I got this all throughout the romantic tarot that I did. Uh, I, I just uploaded it on Sunday. I'll attach that link above. Um, but there's this wonderful sense of, and all the signs, really, being able to let go, being able to walk away from past situations or or even thoughts that weren't serving them. So this is letting go of the clutter. You're ready to transform. Or this situation is ready to transform. It's ready to go from tadpole to frog. It's ready to let go of what once you needed, because tadpoles, at one time, they need the water, right? It's not their fault. They just need it. But now you're a little bit more terrestrial. You have a little bit more freedom. You know, you can hop in the water when you want, but you can also hop out, which is a sense of maturing. There's an energy of here of you growing and developing and maturing as a person or a circumstance, a situation or relationship growing and developing into something that's not, once again, what did I say? It's not a concept anymore. It's real, but there's also a sense of gentleness. Usually this is a, you got to let it go girl kind of card, you know? Um, but this is an energy of, no, you're ready to let it go. This is maturing now. This is uh, somebody growing up, somebody, something, some, some opportunity growing up and becoming developed, well-developed and well-understood and grounded. Remember, the frog is going from being very emotional and very intuitive, um, but also being very influenced by ripples in the water and tides to being able to direct and conduct themselves and make make decisions that that conduct their fate a lot more clearly than they had in the past so this is a beautiful energy of maybe you or somebody in your life or just the situation is actually growing up and this wouldn't be the sense of like say this was about relationships this is hypothetical um, for it's an example to help with a metaphor to uh, of what I'm the energy I'm trying to explain. So this metaphor would be um, basically that time period. It's like you've just crossed over the threshold of that honeymoon phase in your relationship, and things are starting to get real. But it's not a bad reel. It's a really comforting, warm reel. It's a maturity. There's a sense of you ready for this level of maturity, of, of the situation or the circumstance being ready for this maturity. So also an example, all oh, the cards are flowing out now. I hit something. Um, the Aries, there's a sense of, um, you know, if you, maybe you'd worked the same company for five years. And now they're offering you to promote to promote you to director or senior director or VP. You know, there's a sense of you being ready for the more the level up or the maturity. And I love this because I think the focus is on that readiness. It's not even on the opportunity because the opportunity is almost still to come or happening and being formed as we speak. But there's an energy of just being ready for that and it's not going to feel so it's, it won't feel like a burden to you it won't feel boring to you it will feel like i'm i'm supposed to be here so this is the divine timing the right time you are all the i just saw that scene from harry potter remember where they went go to gringotts and the you see the the back side it's in harry potter one and you see the the back uh of the the locks all uh, unclicking at the same time as he scrapes his finger down the front to unlock like Harry Potter's treasure. Oh, no, no, no. It was uh, 
the sorcerer's stone, right? That was the vault that it was in. This is a sense of that. Like everything has clicked into place and now you're ready for the door to open for you. Here we have, think on your feet. Beautiful sense of um, impromptu surprises or a wonderful energy of happiness and jovility coming into your life during Sagittarius season. This is doors opening for you during Sagittarius season. Aries, I think that you're up for a lot of really positive and happy things coming to you in Sagittarius season. We started out with Jupiter, um, you know, coming back in the beginning of Sagittarius season coming back into the sign of Sagittarius and that being some really good fortune and wonderful progress for you. But now that it's gone into Capricorn, I also feel like it's going to really help you out a lot because you are a hard worker. You know, you are somebody who dots all their T's and all their I's. You have done the work. And I think that this is the energy of just being able to start enjoying it. Now, um, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. I, I'm going to tell you what signs are on the table. Like I said, Taurus, there's Cancer, there's Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be a specific sign, but generally it could be the energies of those signs too. Um, hawk spirit. And what did I say? I said, this isn't the energy of hawk spirit. This is very grounded. This is actually figuring out and laying plans for what is actually going to be constructed in your future but now hawk shows up and hawk is also this message hawk is that message of um this is divinely guided that this is some part of you intuitively understood or knew what was coming to you in the future you just felt like this was in front of you and aries it's all playing out you have all have always had this on your mind so like i said for example if this has to do with your career, just a metaphor to explain the energy. If this had to do with your career, this is always where you wanted to go. I think as soon as you got into college, you kind of saw yourself as the VP, right? And now it's it's coming into fruition. This is something really far out. This would be future thought. Maybe not like a psychic seeing into the future, but having future plans. For example, with relationships, this could very well be, you always saw yourself married. You always saw yourself as a parent. It hadn't happened yet. And now this is the time. What you saw then is now being translated into 3D. It's actually the groundwork is being laid. So there's a little bit of fate and destiny arriving, arriving. Uh, hello, amen. Er, hello, this is sweet results await. And I always say this about this card. What I love about this is this is a very Leo energy, that and the lion spirit. But this is the sun card for me, Trent. Yeah, you see the seven days. Seven days is the number of creation, okay? Um, and the sun certainly is at the center of creation. It's also um, beautiful and bright and gives life. And it, it it's fire, right? So it's it's making things, it's creating things. But remember, the little presence of the bee reminds us that this is actually something you created, Aries. This is something that you've been working on very hard for a long time. Honey doesn't just, this is, see, this is my sweet results await. You see the message? But it's like dripping in the honey, honey, dripping in the honey. Understanding that honey doesn't get made because the bee thinks about it. You know, honey gets made because the bee, everything in the bee's being is dedicated toward getting that honey made. And he's associated in his hive with other people who are like-minded. And now you're seeing the results, these beautiful, delicious results of your hard work, of your commitment to a belief, a faith system, um, um, a manifestation, um, um, positive thoughts, positive energy, a study, hard work. You've dedicated yourself to this. You never gave up. You just kept going. And what a beautiful energy and experience now you have in your life because you didn't give up and you kept going. And even when it was just a concept, you kept, you, you kept working because you believed in the concept. You believed in yourself. And remember, this is the sign of Leo. This is also your, your house, first house energy of believing in yourself and now finally being able to reap some rewards of that. Um, um, I, I don't like to get, I don't like to get too specific, but this would more skew things toward work instead of uh, relationships. It would be, it would be more toward work. But then again, you could have been working very, very long and hard on, um, 
you know, getting getting yourself with the right partner um, or, um, get, you know, conceiving a child, something like that, that you've worked hard on is coming to fruition. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely could also be conceiving a child. Definitely. If, if you've been trying, this could be a good time to do it. I don't mind if you press pause. Okay. Um, we can move on from that. <laughs> Let's get, there's more to come for you, but there is beautiful, um, like I can feel the cards not wanting to rush, being very selective as to what pops out. And I feel like this is your energy too, of really just, um, feeling good about where the energy in your life is at right now and not needing to rush or not needing to worry or think, oh no, this isn't going to happen. Or what do I have to do? There's a wonderful sense of certainty about you for the next seven days. Um, yeah, calm. It's just a calm. All right, let's do this. Okay. Life is a mystery. Um, this is usually, um, eight. Oh my God. So this is an energy of destiny also. So is Hawk energy, but this is an energy of destiny. This is an energy of spirit being at work in your life. Somebody being at work in your life that you didn't even know was blessing you. This is unknown surprises, unknown blessings. This could be coming out of, out of you know, left field, but it would be something that, so in other words, something that you didn't see coming, but something that is beautiful and that you've always wanted uh, with all the other cards on the table, definitely. This is an energy of being able to see through the eyes of spirit. So it wasn't just your plan, it was a divine plan. And I think that that's the energy that I want to stress. This was always fated for you. This was where you were supposed to be. And it's also about getting into alignment with what is supposed to be. Instead of, you know, wearing a false mask or wearing a false face or trying to be something that the world wants you to be. Um, this is about being able to let your true self out um, because you're prepared to be loyal to what you love. Sticking to your guns. Um, there's, also, there's just this energy of finally, maybe that's what it is. It's finally revealed who is really on your side, who really has your back. So if there's an energy, there was an energy or you didn't, you didn't know, you didn't know if you could trust someone, you didn't know if you could trust the situation because you've waited for it for so long and it's just like, oh my God, like, can I really do this? Um, yes, you can. Uh, this is definitely what is being exposed is how reliable this person or this energy is, how reliable this opportunity is, and how long-term this opportunity is. This is a Gemini energy for me, and this is a, once again, Cancerian energy for me. It is about loyalty. It could also be a Virgo energy. It's about loyalty. It's about long-term. It's about I love you unconditionally for who you are, all of those things. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I, oh, you hear me talking about you? Yes, you do. I love you. They love you too. You can say hi if you want. You want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, Aries. Hi, guys. She smells my peanut butter and she wants it, but I want her to say hi. I love you too. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Thank you for that. Um, and Spirit has a plan. How many times did I say before I turned this card over or even this before this card even fell out that spirit has a plan, that this is divinely guided and patient. Koala is a very slow moving creature. They tend to be very, very docile unless they're protecting something that's important to them, but they're very simple and they're very basic and they have patience. So this is almost like the Knight of Pentacles energy where it's taken a while to get here, but you feel so secure in it because of how long it's taken to get here. And so, so now, hold on. It doesn't matter how long it's taken to get here. The fact that is that it's here. There's also a sense of reaffir like um, affirmation, affirming that this has future, that this has a future, that this is going to last. This is something that was built to last. Let's put it that way. Grounding your reading is you are never alone, but it's in reverse. It's in reverse, otter spirit. This to me would indicate a heartbreak. 
when nothing else, when nothing else does. I'm going to clarify this card. Clarify otter, please. Oh, I see. So it's almost like you never thought in a million years that this would happen. Stop. But what would happen? Disappointment, heartbreak, release. You know, if this was a heartbreak, then it's something that you've already released. And this week is you realizing that there was a reason and you really being able to let go because the, the future is bright and you can see it in front of you. It's good stuff. And this is the first time in a while that you would have been able to settle in and say, I, that needed to go because it wasn't right for me. Or if you're in a different situation, never in a million years did you see this coming. Never in a million years did you see, stop, stop this. Never in a million years did you think this would still imply heartbreak though. This is weird. This is the grounding energy. Oh. You know, this, this energy is almost like being maybe, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple of different interpretations. I just wanna pull another card. Because honestly, deep down inside of me, um, uh, It's like the, this all of a sudden this reading just totally took a turn. Use your mind wisely. You are never alone and the abundant universe will provide, but the Buffalo energy is upside down as well. So let me think on this. Yeah, this is the grounding energy and this is the message. Something was taken away from you. Something very, very important. Your heart was broken. But this is the past. Yes. This is the past. Something, something extremely important to you was taken away. And your heart was absolutely broken. Now, this does not have to be just romance. At, at all. This is like heartbreak into losing a loved one. I know two of my best friends who are Aries suffered through that over the summer, spring. It was horrendous. So this is an extreme loss that you went through. It could have been a job that you dedicated yourself to your entire life, just falling apart. Whatever it was that you lost, the grounding energy of this reading is that you took that as an opportunity, not an opportunity to dance on somebody's grave, but an opportunity to learn and to grow. And you did what other people thought was impossible and changed your life around. You did. You changed your life around. You changed your direction around. It wasn't necessarily that you had to, you, you did anything wrong, but it was the sense of what's been destroyed will destroy me if I don't figure out how to use this to help build my future. And that's what you did. I've used this metaphor before. Picture the tower and all the crumbled remnants of what was your dream home. But instead of crying and, 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 and hurting and collapsing, you decided to take the rubble and build yourself a ladder. And instead of, instead of letting it fall on top of you, you actually climbed on top of it which is what gave you a higher perspective of your future. So you used the hurt and the ruination from the past to be able to understand and learn about the future or your direction to maybe, maybe even as inspiration that you found a way to direct you into the future. This is beautiful energy. Hold on, I wanna review the cards. So Aries, this is also confirmation that all of this success, and I kept saying it, this is the central energy, I kept saying it all through your reading, that the, that the basis, the foundation of your success has been heartache. Heartache, suffering, and renewal and revival, regeneration, starting over. There's this 
You have suffered, you have lost, you have struggled, you have persevered. You figured out how to take a shitty situation. And boy, if anybody can do this, it's Aries. You found a way to take a shitty situation and you did not let it break you. But instead you let it inspire you and motivate you. And through that motivation, you are now getting this. You see, this was always destined. And now that I see you could have suffered a great loss, this could be their spirit coming through to guide you and to love you and to stand by you. You know, kind of like Obi-Wan coming back to support Luke. You know, I know that sounds so, but it's true. It's almost like their energy is there standing behind, like they got your back. Do you see? You see him with his crossed arms, all kind of indignant. He's like, I got your back. And they do. Spirit has your back. They'll never leave you. You know, they'll never leave you. There's always, they're always going to be here for you. Or just this energy of what happened made the future, made your, made the future better. Not because of any, uh, no, because you made the future better because it happened to you. You know, it motivated you. It pushed you somewhere. It drove you somewhere. It got you to be the best of yourself. What is fantastic energy that I can finally say to you, Aries, this is all coming to, um, this is all abundance is coming to you. Now you're going to reap the, the delicious honey that you have busted your butt and maybe sacrificed uh, all, a lot of parts of yourself and a lot of time. You're finally reaping it. And I don't think you even saw it coming. That's a surprise because a lot of this, now that I understand the grounding energy, where you're, what, how, what motivated you, a lot of this I can see now, you weren't doing it for success. You were doing it for um, healing, to heal yourself, to heal a situation the, or, or the motivation to inspire or to help others or, or to be a better person because it had nothing to do with um, reaping all these benefits. But here, you're being acknowledged and you're being seen. And it's, it's really a surprise to you. And good, let it be a surprise to you because you deserve this happiness. I'm going to go over to um, the extended reading. The link is below. We can see a little bit into what's going to come. And then also draw a romance reading for those of you who are interested over the next seven days. I'll see you guys there.